Hey gang, it's Ark. Welcome back to our one region challenge in Ash Canyon. Now, we just woke up. Um, I'm going to get one more hour of sleep here. And hopefully we'll have just enough time left on the fire to heat up a tea. Um, we're in a bit of a rough situation because we have very little... Um, let's actually drop a can on here. I think I have... Yeah, we'll do... Um, Prepared rose hips. Okay, so that should be just enough time to cook that. And let's see, how am I doing on water? Very little water. So I'll probably drink this and maybe carry one more liter with me. Um, yeah, so we're pretty much out of firewood now. Definitely need to take my bedroll with me. Um, and I do not have a place to sleep. Um, a warm place without going all the way out to the right and all the way back down to that transition cave, which is a long way away. I'm really hoping we'll find like a shelter or something else up here sooner rather than later. And I have no coffee, so this climb is going to really hurt. Alright, got several torches, so that's good. Let's go ahead and get this lit. It's pretty early in the morning, but... Alright, last check. Oh yeah, I'm hardly carrying anything. I'm gonna go ahead and take this last, um... Let's go ahead and do that. Double check. Yeah, I'm still under 20 kilograms, so that's fine. I'm not going to run. I'm going to try to preserve my energy as much as possible. And there's a climb, I believe, over that way. But we decided last episode that we're going to go do this other climb. So I'll grab some sticks when I see them. Is this rope? Somewhere up here on the left. Alright, let's go ahead and drink this. What am I hearing? Oh, is that a moose? There's a moose right there. Let's grab these and back up. Oh, I think I've uh, angered him. Hopefully he's not actually charging me. Alright, let's um find that rope. I feel like I must have gotten confused about where this climb actually is. Let's see, can I walk further up this way? Maybe. Maybe there's a way to get up here. Sure looks like I could go up that way. Mm, no, I guess not.
There it is. Okay. I found the climb. We might have to do a little bit of running to get over there without attracting the attention of this moose. Alright, I got past him. Let's see. Here we are. And I'll just refresh this torch before we start this climb, because it's probably going to take us a while to climb up there. Oh, I hope this takes me somewhere good. Ammunition. Um, why am I here, though? Okay, so clearly I can't go that way. Maybe there's a hidden route along... Okay, there's a little ledge here. There's another climb. Oh man, I only have about half of my energy right now. And that is a long climb. Maybe we sleep? Or there's a ledge. Unfortunately, I don't have any fuel on me. So, let's just see. Feels like negative 20. I really have no choice. I just have to try to do this climb right now. I can't sleep to recover energy. Yeah, I basically just have to do this now. Let's try to get at least um, halfway up. Oh, this is going to be rough. All right, let's just go for it. I got a bad feeling about this. As long as I can make it to the top of this, even if I'm fully exhausted. I think I might just be out of luck. I think I'm too tired to get off on this ledge. Not quite there. Come on, ledge. Okay. There's some fuel up here. Okay, good. I can start a fire here. I'll rest soon. I'm gonna faint. And try to get a little bit of sleep. And then we'll finish this climb. Um, let's see. Is there anything else here? Doesn't look like it. Feels like negative Wait. thirteen. I'm so cold. I'm warming up a bit. I'm in a very bad position here. Um, all right, let's just do torch. What I might do is just put as much fuel as I can on here. Fire. Sleep for two hours, two maybe three hours. We'll see exactly how long. It looks like my fire will last. I have another piece of coal. Alright, so... Yeah, I can get this going for two hours. Um, and then still have some time to heat up some stuff afterwards. Two hours of sleep will help me a lot. Uh, let's not worry about the extra torches for right now. Ditch this. Um, still going to be under 20 kilograms. Let's just eat, um... A little bit. 
Don't really need to drink any water. We'll heat up some tea when we're ready to go. All right, let's get two hours of sleep. I might decide to get a third one, depending on how this looks afterwards. Um, should be plenty warm. Okay, two hours. The longer I sleep, the better my chances are. Okay, we still have an hour. Uh, let's just go ahead and get that last hour of sleep. All right, I hope that's enough. Um, let's heat up a tea and get out of here. Okay, 13 minutes to kill. Did I check this backpack yet? Probably. This would have been so much easier with some coffee. Even now, let's see, how long is this climb? Yeah, even now that looks pretty rough. I guess I could drink the tea and then get one little bit, one last little bit of sleep. Hmm. Not the worst idea, actually. I think I can do this climb on the energy I have left. Definitely going to be under... Okay, under 20 kilograms. Let's go ahead and light a torch off of here, and then I need to go. Every second I wait is making this climb worse. Um, hello? Can I reach this? Yeah, okay. Oh, this is rough. I am losing so much energy. Really wish I had um, taken the risk to get an extra hour of sleep now. I think we are just barely going to make it. Uh, you really need coffee to do these climbs. Wow, that was so close. There had better be some good stuff up here. Completely exhausted now. I've got no fuel. I'm in a completely unfamiliar spot. Are you kidding me? Well, that's it. We're dead. I mean, I don't have anything I can do here. I burned the last of my fuel. Feels like negative 11, so my bedroll isn't warm enough for me to just sleep in. Really, they couldn't give me, like, at least a cave or something here? All right, let's think about this. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven torches. Even if I harvested, even even if I um, harvested every single one of them, that'd be eleven sticks. On top of the one I have, that's twelve sticks. Not enough for a snow shelter. Fire. 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 
I don't think I can go up there by any means. Although, wait a minute. If we look up there... Is that a cave entrance? That looks like a place where you can come out and climb down here. Huh. Must be a one-way route, though. It's so cold. I just want to lay down for a bit. I can't believe if I had three more sticks, I'd probably be able to survive this. I could just, um, throw down the, the snow shelter and sleep in it with my bedroll. Hopefully that would keep me warm enough. We get all our energy back and then climb up there. Well, there's only one way to salvage this, and I don't think it's going to be possible, but I'm going to have to try it. The reason I haven't gone yet is because I'm just thinking every possible strategy I can think of to get out of this. Let's double check, um... Yeah, 15 sticks and 5 cloth. There's no way we're going to get 15 sticks. Will it even let me start this climb? No, I'm too encumbered. This doesn't look like something I'm going to be able to inch down on this side. Maybe I'd have better luck over there. I think these climbs are just too steep, though. Um, am I stuck here? No. Oh, I can't believe they did this to me. Even with coffee, like, um, this is what the third really long climb. I don't think there'd be any way to do this without getting a substantial amount of sleep in between. I already got like three extra hours of sleep just to be able to make that climb. And then this is like a full, this would take like all of your energy even if you were at about 70% or so. All right, so I can't attempt to climb because I'm too encumbered. Um, that would just take way too long with no energy anyway. I would obviously fall. Um, we could try to climb down, but I think that's a mistake with no energy as well. I think uh, my best shot at survival here is to just... attempt to ease my way down here. This likely results in my death, but I think I have to try something. That looks fairly good. Um, let's see on this side. That looks like a bit of a sharp drop off. Ah! I think that's death. That's uh, probably death as well, though. Alright, let's try it here. This is, um, most likely no good, but... Yep. <gasps> well. It's a long drop, but I survived it. Thing is, even once we get down here...
we're still in big trouble. Okay, that seems to be a sheer drop off. Alright, so far so good. Now we just need any way down this rock face. Which is clearly not going to happen here. Uh, looks like if I can get on top of that slope over there, I have an easy way down. Just have hypothermia risk to deal with right now. Yeah, that doesn't look good. All right, well, if I survive this, then I have a target. Um, oh, I see, there's no way over there. This just um, dead ends at this climb. Well, let's see. If I go around to the other side of this, let's see if there's a way to sneak down on this side. Maybe? I'm just gonna have to go for it. This is probably the end of the run here. Um, That looks like it becomes just a sheer face there. So I might as well try to go down here. I think this is a sheer drop off. I'm gonna have to drop down to this ledge down below me at some point. <coughs> oh. well, I survived that drop. Honestly, what we could do Can I get rid of like Let's just see what happens. If I drop um, these antibiotics, where do they end up? Oh, they can't. They dropped down here. So anything I drop here, I won't be able to get back. So I have four kilograms of junk. Right, I don't need all this water. Let's just drink to full and then drop the rest of the water. All right, let's see. Okay, I'm just under. Let's do this. I'm going to attempt to climb on this rope. Oh, it won't let me grab it. Well, so much for that plan. All right, let's go over to this side and see if I can drop down onto uh, that ledge. Kind of wish I hadn't. Let me go grab my stuff back. I'm going to need those torches um, to harvest for sticks if I want to survive this. I thought it would let me grab the rope, but I guess I'm in such an awkward spot that there's no way to get me onto it. I figured if I grabbed the rope from there, even if I fall um, on the way down, it probably wouldn't kill me. Alright, so let's try to inch over here. Don't really want to be up high. I want to be underneath that. Okay, and then just try to inch down here without taking too big of a drop. Alright, well... 
Where's that moose? I guess I just stay as far to the right over here as I can. Hope it hasn't wandered off this way too much. I'm going to grab as many of these as I can. You sound really close. I can't believe I lived through that. Um, we'll see if it actually lasts. It would be so satisfying to survive and get well established and come back here and do that climb again. So I'm gonna do the best I can here. That's gonna require picking up as much fuel as possible If I can find a place that's warm without a fire, then I'll be able to get some sleep um, to heal up some without spending fuel. Hypothermia risk is actually really high now. Feels like negative 21. I burned my... Hole. Um, if I get hypothermia, I think I'm dead, so I just need to get as many sticks as I can and start a fire and get warmed up next to it. Let's see, it's at 80%. Definitely need to stop and make this fire before 90%. This will take me through that birch forest, but that's the area that I overlooked. Alright, you know what? Survival first. Let's just go all the way back to the transition cave. I'm going to pick up sticks along the way here. We'll stop and make a fire. We'll make some birch bark tea. We can maybe make this work. As much as I want to like explore new areas over there, I don't want to uh, give up on this run. Alright. Hypothermia risk is at 85%. Once we get to the top of this hill, we're going to have to pick a spot to make a fire. Probably just go over into this corner. Looks like we got some more birch bark here. Something up there. I'm not sure what that is. Just want to get as many of these extra sticks as I can on the way up here. And I'm just going to accept this tucked away in the corner here. Alright, let's light a torch. And let's see, where can I start this? Hopefully there's a flat spot somewhere up here. Relatively flat. Come on, this should work. Uh, it wants to be a pain about it, of course. Okay, here we go. Torch. Got tail head. Stick. Probably gonna get hypothermia. I think it took me too long to find a spot for the fire. Come on, little fire. Best thing I can do is just throw all these sticks on here.
All right, let's see. We are at, feels like negative one, zero. Hypothermia risk got up to 95%. All right, uh, let's see. Do we have anything to cook? No, so I'll just make some water. Go ahead and put this porch out for now. See some more birch bark down there. This fire is barely warm. All right, 20 minutes to craft these up. I don't want to take a single torch off of the fire yet. Let's go see if I can grab some more sticks for the fire. Um, taking torches off reduces the temperature. It's a large piece of bark. Um, I thought one of these might be a stick, but they're both birch bark. Oh well. All right, let's get back. Fortunately, my temperature didn't didn't go down too badly. Alright, um, just gonna let this torch burn out while I, let's see, how much time is left on the fire? Hour and 51 minutes. Go ahead and craft the rest of these. Thing is, if I get back to that one cave, which is looking likely now, um, I don't need fuel. I just, um... Throw down my bedroll. If I still have it. Yep, I didn't lose it. Oh, interesting. Oh, this is so weird. So there's this ravine area. When I go over here, I can't even see it. Because those walls go up on the other side. I think there was a climb there, too. All right, let's just grab the remainder of the resources in here. I'm gonna go back to the fire. We'll heat up um, another tea. And then I think I'm just gonna carry a torch and walk back with the warming up buff. I'm not gonna throw any more of my fuel on the fire. I think I'm uh, good now. Do 
going to ditch the torch. We'll grab some fresh ones. So there's a lot left to explore over here. And go out that way. Oh, in fact, yeah, that looks pretty interesting going on this side of the ravine. Maybe next time I come through here, I'll stay on the low ground and um, go explore over that way. Instead of, um, I don't even remember how I got on the ledge up high. Alright, these are just about to burn. Let's go ahead and heat up some of my existing teas. Um, while those are going, and craft another rose hip. Got a long walk ahead of us. Hopefully I don't get lost on the way back. Alright, if I hurry, I should be able to get one last torch out of there. Perfect. Right, let's take that. Let's go ahead and drink this. Alright. Looks like it's getting windy and snowy. I'm gonna have to hope the weather holds until I get back. I'm really looking for sticks, but I'll take any birch bark that I come across. Well, there goes my torch. Given just how many tea ingredients I have, I'll probably drink that other tea in a second here, just to make sure I stay warm as long as possible. I think this might be where I left and went to the high ground. In which case, we're actually a lot closer than I thought to my destination. I don't know, there's a few areas here where it's possible to get up to the high ground. Alright, we've been traveling a while. Let's go ahead and... Um, I think I'm wasting a little bit of warmth here, but I want to make sure I get it before it runs out. Okay, so that should refresh the duration of the warming up buff. Can these be broken down? Interesting. I do not recognize... Oh, is this the... Um... No, I guess not. There's that area where there's that like tooth-shaped thing. Um, Pillar's Footrest, I think it's called. I should reach that... Oh, wait, this is a dead end. Isn't it? Yeah, there's no place to go there. Um, I should reach the Pillar's Footrest a little bit before I would get all the way back to my target. I'm a little worried though, I'm heading really downhill here. Maybe I should have tried to get up to the high ground and follow that back. Is this Pillar's Footrest? It kind of looks like it might be.
I'm gonna go up this way a little bit. Just to try to get a better view of my surroundings. I'm honestly really confused about exactly where I am. Okay, it seems I cannot walk through there. <laughs> My drinks are all cold now. If I still had one that was warm, I would have definitely had it. Pillar's footrest. Okay, so this is it. Um, I don't remember exactly where it's supposed to be. but So this should be good. This should mean I just walk straight this way. Um, and that transition cave is up here. Sort of in the right corner. Straight ahead and right. Keep the high ground in case there are any wolves around. I don't remember seeing any wolves in this area. What a roller coaster this episode was. I was absolutely convinced that there was no possible way that I could survive that. And here we are. Made it all the way back. Kind of tempted since I have a little bit left on my warming up buff to just go ahead and break some of these down. 20 minutes? With the amount of time I have, eh, it's probably not worth the risk. Alright, and here we are. Um, seems my temperature gradually adjusts to the indoor temperature over time. Kind of be interested to see what this stabilizes at. Okay, so it stabilized at just about zero. If I walk further in here, though, get my bedroll out so I can see where a spot is to put it. Yeah, so it feels like six once I get back to this area. There is no light in here. Um, no point in really lighting a torch. I did just get a save point, um, but I'm about to sleep for the full amount of time anyway, so let me just find a place to pop this down. Okay, so here's a spot. Let me just make sure. Yeah, it feels like six degrees here. Let's go ahead and eat. Let's go ahead and eat. Oh, this is just the little bit of MRE I have left. I'm actually low on food now. So we'll probably have to try to get a deer or a rabbit in the morning. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and eat all this stuff. I think this item might have a very small food poisoning risk, so I won't eat that one. But I'm eating everything else and um, maybe a couple of cattails too. Just so that we're not like right on the edge when we wake up in the morning. All right, uh, bed roll, and then we need water and we can go to sleep. Don't have any herbal tea. <laughs> All right. What an episode. I can't believe I survived that. I'm actually, like, generally in pretty good shape. I need a drink. 
Uh, the one thing is some of my clothing probably took a pretty big hit. Yeah, my shoes took a big hit during that fall for those falls. Need to repair this underwear. Um, hopefully I'll find some clothing, but this, um, this area has been very unfriendly with loot so far. But the main thing is we are alive and warm. We're safe here. We can uh, continue to explore from this area. Um, I just, I can't, I, I didn't think that we would be here. So I don't know exactly what to say about it. All right. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching.